Hello my lovelies and welcome back to Fookie Corner of YouTube and today we're doing a little bit of art. <laughs> um, a lot of us have been doing the art swap um, uh, within the Artifartist group on Discord um, organised by Annie Claxton whose links I will leave below. Lovely, lovely lady. Please go and check out her channel. Uh, but especially check out the Discord channel because that's where all the fun, well, most of the fun goes off and you will make some new friends if you uh, join in. It's so nice. We meet people from all over the world and I've made a load of new friends on the Discord channel itself. Anyway, getting back to what we're doing now. What I wanted to do was um, I've been watching a lot of um, jelly print videos lately um there's a couple of guys i've been watching who are really inspirational and i'll leave links to them in my description box um but yeah the, the techniques i've been looking at are really really inspirational so i had to have a go um so the first thing that i wanted to do obviously you know i'm an owl lover so i grabbed myself i went on to on splash and got myself um, a copyright free owl picture. If you've got one of your own, that's even better. Sadly, I do not have any, um, apart, I have got owl pictures, but nothing of, of this close up nature. So printed that off. And I want to do this in a, um, a 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter piece because that's what we've been doing for the art swaps. And I thought it would be useful to you if you're still in the midst of doing something and you've got you've got a jelly plate or whatever and you wanted to have a go at this it's a good thing to have a go at anyway back to the picture i have now what you need to grab now is a sheet of tissue paper um i've got some of this sort of not tissue paper tracing paper that's the word i was looking for and um any tracing paper will do because that's not the important part um, let me grab my other sheet. I've got so many things all over my desk. It's untrue. <laughs> she said organising herself. This maybe should be what I did before. I uh, I came on to you, but I'm so excited, guys. I'm so excited. Um, okay. So, what you want to do is lay over your tracing paper. I've already previously done this once because I've tested it out to make sure it works. And what you also need for this is a pastel pencil. Now I'm very luck very lucky have very luckily have a pastel pencil that I've been using, but I'm gonna try a different colour this time. Um, this one is a Prussian blue. I'm gonna go for a darker pastel pencil because I want it to be um, to show up basically. And it it's a technique I've not really tried before, so this is why I, will, I ran through it once before so that I could make sure that it works. I'm basically going over my own lines here, but I just want to add in this new pastel colour. Uh, you could be much more sensible than me and um, <laughs> use some masking tape. I do have some, actually. I did previously. Let's put that boy down there, shall we? Uh, this one. Ah. Now, I'll warn you that this takes a little bit of time because of the transfer issue. See, I'm not... I should have put it on the other side, shouldn't I? I'll hold that with my finger. So I'm just going over all my lines. I've previously done kind of tracing out the main elements of your owl boy and just a few like, little details of where his chin would be do owls have chins this is a question that'll keep me awake all night <laughs> anybody know about owls do you know if owls have chins leave me a message down below in the comments <laughs> Oh, my brain. Okay. So this is not going to be exactly the same as the previous one, but it's going to be in the ballpark of. 
which is great. Add a few more in just because why not? Um, you want to be like a medium -y press, you, you want a fair amount on there because this is going to go onto your gel cake. You can add in as much detail as you want or as little as you want. I wanted mine to be fairly abstracty, so I'm not too worried about the fact of getting all of the detail on there. I'll take off my masking tape or washi tape, save that for later. Now you need a jelly plate and as luck would have it, <laughs> somewhere, bear with, I'll find it. Okay, here I am. Captain Chaos I am today. <laughs> so you take your tracing paper, being careful not to smudge it. What you want to do is to turn it over so that the drawing side goes down. So if you're doing anything with writing, do bear in mind you will have to re reverse when you are drawing it. I'm going to put it in the middle so I've got a bit of room to work with. I'll lay it down. You can't really move it after this. That's important. Otherwise, you'll get like a fogging of the, the lines. Uh, if that's what you're intending, that, that would work quite well. So do a little rub a dub, rub a dub a scrub, making sure I've rubbed over all the lines that I have drawn. Um, yeah, I think we're good with that. Okay, I think I'm going to say that's done. I can always peel it up and pop it back down if it's not quite taken. Oh, do a bit there. But I think, I think we're good to go. So we have transferred our drawing onto our plate all well and good next thing I'm going to do is to grab out some acrylic paint markers Posca pens and Liquitex I think it is in my case I've got a couple of those I'm not going overboard with colors I'm trying to keep it to a limited palette so for this I am now going to do a little bit of coloring in so I'm going to go around the eyes like so. It's very juicy. I think I pumped this a little too hard when I was using it before. Hey ho, we'll use what we have. So I've put some lines around here. Um, yes, you can go over the marks that you've made. The pastel pencil will still stay. That's all good. I'm trying to figure out where I lay down my paint before. Wherever I lay my paint, that's its home. Sorry, Paul Young. <laughs> Apologies <laughs> to any music lovers out there. Uh, some feathery line edge going on. I, I am keeping this quite rough and abstract if you want much more detail you could be much more careful than me but i wanted it to be abstracty and we keep just clean off your um posca pen or your acrylic pen in between times just in case you've got some of that pastel pencil on there it's just a little scrap of paper at the side of your workspace it will work perfectly now I'm going in with some of this is a Liquitex. Um, I should tell you that that was orange, basically. It's an orange Posca pen. This one, if you're interested in the colorways, is a uh, brilliant blue. And I'm just adding some more detail in with this. Just to get some feathery do's going along here. This one might need a little bit of cleaning up on this edge there. And I've had a, such fun with this. Um, as I say, I've been watching, <laughs> I've been watching so many jelly plate videos. But I will link below to the two gentlemen's um, websites that I've been watching 
because they are phenomenal. Uh, so many good ideas. I've got a bags of ideas of things I want to do with mine now. Um, so the next thing you have to do is to wait for the Posca to dry. So Posca needs to dry and then you can start to add in other things. Uh, what we're going to be using, or what I'm going to be using, I've just got some acrylic paint. I'll talk to you while it dries a bit. <laughs> so I've got two acrylic paints here in um, opaque vivid pink and a dark cobalt violet hue. And these are the PBO Studio Acrylics in 45 and 47. The other thing you're going to need if you want to do exactly the same as me, I mean, this is just me playing around, right? Okay, so we've had Posca pens, a pastel pencil. This one was a Derwent, and that was a Prussian blue. I told you what um, what the pens were. They're both acrylic marker pens. And you'll need a couple of brushes, and you will need a brayer. I've got my very, well, it's not a very small brayer, but it's a smaller one of the ones that I've got for the final layer. Obviously tracing paper to do the tracing paper transfer. And then now we have to wait. So we have a waiting game. And what I'm going to do while I'm waiting is to show you some happy mail that I had. So I'm going to pop this boy over to one side. Clear myself a little space. Because I've had some happy swap mail and I thought while we wait for that to dry, we'll have a look. Because I'm so excited, I can't wait. It all plopped through my post box earlier and I was so happy. I'm going to have to do this without showing you any addresses or such. Throwing things all over the place. But yeah, I got uh, three bits of happy mail through my letterbox and I thought this is such a good time while we're doing a bit of drying to have an open. Ooh, <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> it's crazy, it's just like Christmas, seriously. And it's like, oh, what's going to come out next? I'm going to take it out and just check there's nothing incriminating on it. <laughs> this one isn't happy mail. <laughs> well, it is, but it's not the colour I was thinking. I was contacted by Frisk um, about a week or so back, asking me if I would be interested in trying out some of their black al al alcohol ink paper. And I said, of course, I said, yes, yes, please, I shall. And so that's a sample of that. So that's an extra. <laughs> we'll be doing something with this at some point to test it out. So um, watch this space for the black alcohol ink paper. Frisco are a great company. I love I love most of their products. I've not tried all of them, so I can't say all of their products, but uh, the ones I've tried, I've loved. Let's put it that way. Uh, these are happy mail. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I need one of those fancy dancy letter openers, don't I? <laughs> oh, oh, I can see things already. Uh, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, I think I know who this one's from. Oh, yeah, this one is from the lovely Gabby, Gabby Chic Dolls, you all know her as on YouTube. Um, and we arranged between us to do the swap for the art swap. I can't wait to see what she sent me. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And look at this beautiful rose on the front of there. Gabby, that's lovely. I love that. I need more walls now because I want to. I want to put everything up that I get. I want to put all these beautiful cards up. Oh my gosh, I'm just about to lose it. I've just had a glimpse of the beauty. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, Gabby. That is so beautiful. Oh, 
I need to I need to take it out of its cellophane and free it. Oh, this is absolutely stunning. I am well I'm, I'm in awe of the talent of the people that I've swapped with. My goodness. I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm shaking. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, how beautiful is that? Wow. That's a little guardian angel. Let me take it up closer so you can see the detail. Look at the shiny moon. Oh. And the water, I, I can't even, I can't, I can't even speak. I'm going to have a little look in the card. Hi, Tori. This is Chirora, Chirora, that red-haired angel. Oh, she has got beautiful red hair. She's here to guide you and protect you. This was really fun. Much love from Gabby. So I've got two art pieces, Gabby. You sent me this beautiful, beautiful card, and this is just stunning. How lovely is that? What? What can I say? I can't. Words, words escape me. That is just beautiful. Thank you so much, Gabby. That is stunning. Put that over on the pile with my beautiful things I need to frame. <laughs> So the next one, this is from Lisa, Lisa Page. I love this envelope. This is amazing. I might need to get my cat's paw. See if I can find it in my drawer. I'm trying to put it somewhere safe. <laughs> the safe places we always try and store things and then we can never remember where the safe place is. I've got it though. We're all good. We have cat's paw. Now I don't want to damage anything, so I'm going to have to be really super careful here. Go around the edges. That. Huh? Yeah, it will. I don't want to damage whatever's inside, so I don't want to rip it either. Oh. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, oh no. There we go. There we go. And we're in. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. To my new friend Tori, I can't thank you enough for all the joy your channel brings me. I love every second. Crafting is my therapy to help me cope physical and mental health oh thank you so much for swapping squares with me i hope you like it as much as i enjoyed stitching it love lisa page and also known as on our discord channel as buzzard legs <laughs> oh how lovely is that that's just beautiful and look at this how lovely my favorite colors too all my favourite colours and look at the tiny little stitches. <gasps> this must have taken forever. Oh Lisa, this is just lovely. Look at that little little piece of lace there. <sighs> look at that. Wow. Absolutely beautiful, Lisa. Thank you so so much. So much for this. Um I'm absolutely blown away by it and yeah again words fail me because these are so 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 lovely <sighs> thank you everybody who sent me swaps thank you to all my swap partners who are uh, busy frantically stitching i would imagine at the moment to get all their stitching swaps done and um, we have got quite a bit of time so don't worry too much we've got till the 31st of august and um, that's the deadline for getting everything out Anyway, while I've been chatting away and having a little cry to myself, <laughs> here is 
our dried Posca paint. That's all down now. That should be dry and we can carry on with our piece of artwork. Now I'm going to see if I can find my palette, which again has escaped me. Bear with. Okay, so I'm going to use the lid, <laughs> the lid of my pencil box because my uh, my palette's just gone AWOL for a while. Not my parrot, my <laughs> palette. We've been having a laugh um, about my recent trip away to Norway. I'm talking about Norwegian blue, you know, from the Monty Python. So I've put out some of my um, dark cobalt violet hue. And I am going to paint over my owly boy. So he's just going to have a nice little coat of paint. Uh, you can go as smooth or as thick as you like with this. Um, trying to make it so that... I only have to do one coat, but you could do two coats of this. Uh, but for purposes of um, getting a video done <laughs> and not having you all wait around too long, I'm scooting along quite quickly. I wanted to do it in real time without any um, without any speeded up bits, just so you can see how quick. The waiting times are the longest times of these, I do feel, um, especially the end waiting bit. Um, it's one of those things that you could do, especially for the last waiting time for it to dry. Uh, one of those things that you could do and um, do it overnight, leave it overnight, and then do your reveal back peel in the morning. <laughs> We'll try and give him some feathery feathers on the end there. So I should have a head of an owl boy. A bit more featheriness going on there. I do like fluffy owls. <laughs> what was the one that was on Faulty Towers? Have you ever seen Faulty? If you've seen Faulty Towers, I know some of American friends may have seen that, some may not have. Um, it was a it was a guest house set in Torquay, and um, John Cleese was the proprietor with his lovely wife, <laughs> and they had a, a waitress and a waiter called Manuel. Anyway, I digress. Uh, at the beginning of the program, they always used to have a sign that said Faulty Towers, but it never said Faulty Towers. And on one occasion, it said um, Farty Owls. <laughs> farty Owls. They weren't even arty Farty Owls. They were just Farty Owls. <laughs> Sorry, that just made me giggle thinking about that. Right, so I've got quite a bit on here, but I wanted it to be quite textured. So it's going to take a little longer to dry before I put my other layer on. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to worry about it. So we're going to. I'm going to leave you, and <laughs> I'm just going to go over, go over here, and have a cup of tea. Uh, but it will only be a second for you. But it will be a nice cup of tea for me. So I'm going to go and do that. I'll be back when this is dry to put on another layer. That's me. I'm back quicker than usual. <laughs> I just realised that there is another little layer that I want to, well, it's not a layer as such, but another little addition. <sighs> Best show you what this is first. I just realised that the name of my angel that Gabby so beautifully painted for me is called Aurora. <laughs> I must apologise. I I can only blame the tears that were in my eyes at the time from <laughs> fogging my vision. But yeah, it's Aurora. Not whatever I said, what the heck that was. Anyway, this is an Amsterdam acrylic ink. It's a copper and it's my new favourite. So I wanted to add some of these in around my owl boy. So I'm just splooging a little bit in using the 
the pipa that comes handily with. All around the outside edge. So that's just a, a little added thing in. I maybe could put another one at the bottom there. Let's do that. Yeah, so I want to get a few, <laughs> so many things recently that I have had. I'm going to pop this to one side before I cause a damage to it. Let that dry off. Um, knocking the camera as well. Everything's going so well today, isn't it? <laughs> so very well. Yeah, so this is one of my new favourites. It's the Amsterdam acrylic ink. I really like this. I would imagine it's like the FW, but I just, the pigment of this seems to be really much more um, vibrant, more pigmented, I think, is what the word I was looking for. But yeah, really love that. Uh, the other things that I picked up recently, these were picked up in Norway at the time because I went into an art shop and I had to. And I got, um, I love the Amsterdam acrylics. I do love the PBO as well equally, but I'm just, as I say, falling in love with these. I think there's, yeah, there's more in the Amsterdam. So there's 120 and 100 mil in the PBO, but I like them both for different reasons. <laughs> So yeah, I picked up a deep gold and a reflex rose because I'm really loving my fluorescence again at the moment. Um, talking about fluorescence, I managed to pick myself up also um, one of these high flow acrylics in a fluorescent chartreuse. I, I can't even speak. I love this one so much. <laughs> so that was my little spur splurge on art materials when I was away. So I got these, these because I can't leave, I can't visit a place and they've got an art shop and I actually walk away without something. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that was that was my purchase for my holiday. Anyway, back in a tick. I'm going to go and finish that cuppa I've got waiting for me. Okay, so this is not fully, fully dried, but I'm going to go with it. <laughs> really and truly should wait until it is proper, proper dry. Heck, time is a wasting. Okay, so now I'm going to roll out some of this beautiful rose opaque. I'm not going to go over all of it. I'm going to try and gently, <laughs> gently squaddle some into the middle area because I don't really need right to the edge. I don't need it to be. I might have put a bit too much pink on my plate. <laughs> That's okay. I want it to be fairly, fairly thick. Right. I'm going to say that that is a bit more. <laughs> okay. I'm going to say that that stuff. Yeah. So what we want to do now is first of all, we'll put that out of the way. Now we'll clean that off straight away, by the way. And now I need to grab myself. What I'm using for my print is this uh, Claire Fontaine Smooth Mixed Media Paper. And I'll just grab a sheet of that. So I'm going to cut it down to size once I've printed it anyway. That's going to be the way forward. So, I'm going to lay it down on the top, give myself enough room for, for manoeuvring. So that's going like that. And then, and then I'm going to put some books on it. See which books I've got handy. I've got this lovely African Inspirations book that can go on top. I've got my Fantasy Artists book that can go on top. And... I've got my Day of the Dead book that can go on top of there. What you want to do is kind of weight it down. And if you can't wait overnight, then I pulled mine off probably about an hour and 10 minutes. An hour and 10 minutes, I think, tops. So I'm going to leave that there and be back in a ticko. Okay, I'm going to be daring. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let me straighten you up a little. This has clearly not been um, on its, it's not been rested for over an hour with books on it. Um, because I really want to just show you how it looks. <laughs> I'm impatient. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go for it. So I've turned it over and I'm going to pull up the gel print from the piece. I really do suggest that you kind of leave it for a little longer than I've left this one because you get kind of things like that if you pat them down. And look at that! How cool is he? So it's picked up all the Posca. Obviously, if you left this longer, it would um, pick up much more and be um, a lot drier. But it's picked up all the Posca. It's picked up some of the outlining as well of that pastel pencil. And now you can go in and decorate it further. I'm going to leave this one to dry properly. Uh, first of all, I'm just going to wipe off this jelly plate. I, don't want to... I see a lot of people with very grungy um, jelly plates, and I'm very envious of the fact that they can leave them. As a Virgo, I have <laughs> to clean mine down. <laughs> it's compulsion. Um, so, yeah, I might not clean it thoroughly. I might just... I mean, I could have gone in and picked some of this up again, but to be fair, there wasn't really that much left on it. So I will just wipe it all down and it can be drying off. I love gel. I love jelly plates. They are just so much fun to do all kinds of things on. And I'm learning more and more as I go along about how they, how clever you can be with them. Um, clear all my edges off. There we go. <laughs> I can sit over there and dry off a minute. Right. <laughs> In the best blue Peter style, here's one I made earlier. This one here. And I have started to decorate him. I've worked into him a little bit, so let me go down a little bit further so you can see. Um, so I've been using some Jelly Roll. Um, these are the night night glow ones or whatever they're called, the fluorescent -y ones. And I've also got some of these um, dual metallic hybrids. These are Pentel, aren't they? I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, they're the dual metallic hybrid pencils, pens, even jelly gel pens. I can see if I can see the company of them somewhere. Can't. Um, so what you can do is then, if you want to be a bit more fancy and add in some more detail, then you can go in with your gel pens and add in a bit more detail. If that is how you wish it to be. I, I do wish it to be because I quite like this. It's kind of like adding little bits of detailing in. So I'm going to go around his eyes. There. And there. And that one to match. And I'll work on the other one in the same, in a similar manner. They're both... Um, because they're from the same drawing, I mean, you're going to get different different pulls from each one, obviously. You will never get two the same. Uh, because that's the nature of them. That's how I quite like it. So they're all going to be original. And I just love how you can just play on to this with the, the gel pens, just to add in a bit more details. Outline his beak. And I picked out some purple mount board. Well, it's not mount board, it's card really, a decorative card to make this to finish it off. Also, you would have noticed. <laughs> um yeah, Cookie, there's some shiny in there. Yes, there is, and I'm just going to show you what the shiny is. Um it was 
basically just brushed on and it's this beauteous stuff it's called um glitterific it's by plaid folk art and i learned of this from elizabeth st hilaire on one of her videos and i thought i am getting me some of that glitz and so i i bought six of them but have gone on to order a couple more as well they haven't arrived yet but i got um let me see if i can find my little list this one is that one's a hot pink then i've got princess which is that one i also got this evergreen which is quite nice you can see all the different there are different colors in there different shapes of glitter and it's suspended in a clear gel so there's no paint in it specifically it is just the glitter and a clear suspension um this one i oh this one's aqua so that's that one there that one is dark dark blue that's that one i think or well, that could be blue moon i'm trying to decide because i can't actually tell from the bottles i've got blue moon and dark and dark blue and the aqua so i've got all of those six and i've subsequently ordered some more which are on their way because i've fallen in love with it so much and it will be coming in very handy and if you check out elizabeth st hilaire's um one of her latest videos she's actually using it on the jelly plate i didn't do that i just kind of got some out and just smeared it over the, over the background pieces and i think it just adds a little bit of something as well so i quite like that you've got lots of little rainbow effect glittery bits onto me owl so there he is so i hope you've enjoyed this video it's been quite a mix hasn't it we've got some lovely swaps coming in from our beautiful beautiful people that we're swapping with so our partner swap partners and this piece which could be an art swap and possibly will be an art swap for someone mm -hmm. um so um yeah this could be yours um i'm not saying any names <laughs> but it will be going out in the post as an art swap and um i hope the person who receives it will enjoy it as much as i i have enjoyed making it anyway that's it from me now i will leave a link below to the two gentlemen who i've been watching uh, a lot of their videos of uh, that's one of them is called gel with mark and the other one is called yates makes and I will leave links to them in the description. I'll also leave a link to Elizabeth and Hilaire's um, channel. If you haven't seen that already, I'm sure many of you may have already seen that. But I'll leave a link of that too. I'll leave a link to the name of the paints that I've used in there as well, if you're interested. Obviously, you can do this with any acrylic paint, um, any pastel pencil would work with this charcoal works with this as well i've not actually tried it with charcoal so don't quote me on that but i think one of the people whose videos i've watching has used charcoal to do a similar thing so it might be worth going to have a look at their channel to find out all the gloriousness of uh, using a gel plate right that's it from me for this week i hope you've had a really good week i hope you're going to have a great weekend i will see you back here sometime soon for something else. Bye for now.